Hey, my amazing artists, welcome back to another awesome art activity. I hope you've been having an awesome week. This art activity, we're going to be creating our own cake. Well, maybe not in the way that you might normally think about making a cake, for example, baking it. Instead, we're going to design our own cake in what I would call a design challenge. So let's start first with our learning target. I can design my dream cake. So have some of you maybe watched a TV show where a person might put a design challenge in front of someone to maybe create the latest car or create an astounding outfit or maybe to create a beautiful cake. This is the same kind of idea, except for instead of baking our own cake, we're going to draw out a plan that would show what our idea of a dream birthday cake might look like. I'm going to walk you through the steps of how to lay out your cake and then you're gonna take it away from there, designing your dream cake. So first, let's grab out our art materials. All right, my amazing artists, here's what we're gonna to need to design our own dream birthday cake. We're gonna need at least one sheet of white paper, our pencil and eraser to help us draw. You might want a Sharpie to help you trace the really important details. And then of course, we're gonna need some sort of colors to help color our cake in, whether that might be markers, crayons, or paints if you have them at home. So please pause the video here and go grab the art supplies that you need to design your dream cake. The first thing we need to do is draw the tears of our cake. Now, when I say tears, I don't mean that our cake is crying. What I mean is that it will have multiple layers that are stacked on top of each other. So we're going to draw some cylindrical forms to help us make those tears. Close to the top of my paper, I'm going to draw kind of a small to medium sized oval. That will be the top of my first tier. On each side of the oval, I'm gonna draw a straight line coming down. That's the sides. And then at the bottom of those two lines, I'm gonna connect them with a smiley face curve. Just like that. There's the first tier or top tier of my dream birthday cake. Because if you're making a dream birthday cake, you're not going to make a small cake, right? My next layer is going to start very similar, but I'm going to start getting bigger as I go down. I'm going to start again with an oval, but watch where I start it. I'm going to start the oval on this side of my first tier, and I'm going to curve it around the front and bring it to the other side of that first tier, just like that. I'll then repeat the same steps that I had to finish up my first tier. I'll draw a straight line down on each side and my little bit of a smiley curve to connect them. It doesn't have to be too curvy. All right, I've made my middle or second tier of my cake. We're going to add one more so it has a nice big base. Again, I'll do the same thing. I'll start with that oval here on this side of my second tier. And I'll bring it all the way around to this side of my second tier and finish up those last two steps, drawing straight lines down from each side and adding my smiley face curve at the bottom to connect them. I now have a three layer or tiered cake. Now that I have that, I'm going to use my Sharpie real quickly. I'm going to trace that up so that way I don't lose the base of my cake. All right, I've traced up the base of my cake with my three different tiers. Now, again, this is just a base, a blank beginning, like a blank piece of paper would be. We need to now create the design that would actually make our cake as special as our dream cake is. So before I start drawing out what my dream cake might look like, I might need to brainstorm some ideas or themes that I might want to use on my cake. For example, maybe a theme on my cake could be dinosaurs or Ninjago. Maybe the theme of my cake could be fashion or even art. Whatever theme you would like your dream cake to be is how you're going to design on it. I think for my dream cake, I might decide to have its theme be rainbow. I'm going to draw different things on it that you might see when talking about a rainbow, and then I'm going to color it up to show how it'll look when it's all done. Here I go.
And there you go, my artists. Here is my dream rainbow birthday cake. I added things such as what makes a rainbow, sunshine and rain. I added even just the pattern of a rainbow and a real rainbow. I then added extra details like hearts to show that this is something that I really love, as well as sprinkles like what you might see on a cake or a cupcake as extra details in rainbow. So I hope you have a lot of fun brainstorming what your theme or idea might be for your dream birthday cake. And I can't wait to see all the delicious birthday cake creations that you friends design. Have fun, my artists.